What's good everybody? It's your boy Mikhail Casanova. Coming at you with another video and certification because your boy took his CompTIA A plus certification and his IT fundamental certification and your boy is getting ready for the network so certified across the board right anyway I have a question because I keep seeing this on social media and if the video bothers y'all because of the noise look I'm recording this with a phone I'm on my way home after having to go see the doctor making sure my health is all good and um, you know I have some things to take care of aside from my tests and my doctor so here's a question what is it with people that want to say if you got the switch you're a switch bitch or if you got an xbox you're a x-bone fanboy or if you got a playstation 4 you're a sony pony i don't understand or if you're a pc if you're a pc gamer you're an elitist i don't understand the mentality that goes behind um, this, I guess people call it a superiority complex. I call it an inferiority complex. And quite frankly, it seems like there's a lot of insecure ass motherfuckers out there thinking they about some. And in reality, it could just be that these bitches are too broke to own all the damn consoles like myself. Yeah, I said it. I own all of it. Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, PC. Fuck with me. I got it all. And I have it all because I spent that money to get it all. Because you got to pay to play. Now I've never understood why people who don't have one platform want to talk shit about the other if you got an xbox you talk shit about the playstation you got a playstation you talk shit about xbox if you know anyone that's got nintendo you shit all over them i don't understand that mentality i don't get it that that's enough to me as a gamer and i view myself as a gamer that type of mentality is purely centered around the inferiority complex you know i i saw a comment dude said that because what is it the street fighter came out you know on the switch switch bitches are, are starving for anything to come out like why is there a need to say shit like that i don't i don't get it i don't i mean i'd rather people say i can't afford it but it looks nice or I'm just not interested in that than to just go up and try to disrespect another platform or person who owns that platform just because they may not and true quite frankly a lot of these people can't afford to buy it ain't nothing against that ain't nothing wrong with that if you can't afford it because you got other bills to pay or you don't make enough money to there's nothing wrong with that but this superiority this fake superiority complex this shit I swear, the internet is so toxic sometimes. Um, I had this one dumb fuck comment on my video about um, when I did the review about the Samsung Gear VR. And I was disgusted with it. I was disgusted with it simply because it's it's VR is a gimmick. There's some of the games that work really well, like Space Pirate Simulator or Trainer. That game is good, you know? Um, Eve Valkyrie is good, but you got a lot, you got the 98% of the VR games are glorified tech demos, and I'm not trying to shit on people, if you like VR, that's cool, I have VR, I have three VR systems, Rift, Vive, PS4 VR, and now I got the Gear VR. And to me, to me, it's not my cup of tea because it just, it does not give me the gaming experience that would warrant that price tag. 
but I'm not gonna knock people that like gaming like that. If you like VR, if it's super immersive for you, that's cool. For me, it ain't. It's a tech demo. It's a cool tech demo, but it's a tech demo nonetheless. But you got people that wanna say, oh, you don't know what you're doing. You don't this, you don't that. PC Master Race. <laughs> like, none of y'all bitches own any stock in these fucking companies. Y'all don't own a damn thing in these goddamn companies. And this mentality, like you own it, like you, these companies owe you something. Like all this bitching people are doing about Ultra Street Fighter 2. I've been on that joint all week. Loving it. And people are just bitching incessantly about what Capcom should have did. About this, about that. Same thing they bitch about Nintendo. They need to do this, this, and this. Same thing about Microsoft. Same thing about Sony. And it's just a sick nature of people. This sense of entitlement, this false validation of superiority, this is all false validation. People feel like these companies owe them something. What the fuck do they owe you? So what if Ultra Street Fighter 2 took assets from HD Remix and fine tune them to the T where it plays beautifully and looks gorgeous on the Switch and they added two new characters one who's never been in a Capcom game ever where if you play him versus regular Ken they play entirely different you play Violent Ken, you best be on your rushdown game. You play Evil Ryu, he does not play exactly like regular Ryu, nor does he play like fucking Akuma. Because he's not as fast or strong as Akuma. And it's the first time he's ever been in Street Fighter 2. And people bitching about, they're not new characters, they're reskins. Yes. Same pixel art, but guess what? Different gameplay. Nobody, none of these fucking reviewers that are on YouTube that are incessantly bitching about how bad this game is, how it shouldn't have been $40, I see more motherfuckers bitching about the fucking price tag of the game. It's $40. Oh, it should have been 20. It should have been 25. It should have been this. It should have been that. Okay, what about the game? Then the only thing I'll talk about is where the hot oh. Yes, that mode is absolute shit. But that's not that's not why we came here to play. Nobody's talking about the art mode, the how much art and history is in that feature where you can look at the history of Street Fighter. Nobody's talking about that. All people are doing is bitching about the price and bitching about the way of Hado. I'm gonna say this. Half these motherfuckers bitching about Street Fighter 2 probably either one of millennials that weren't even born when the fucking game originally came out or they didn't grow up in that era where we were playing Street Fighter 2 where you had, if you went to the arcades, that's what we were about. We were about that life because that's how we got down back in the day. Street Fighter 2 created a community in gaming. For real though. But we got people bitching. These fucking reviewers that don't even know how to play the game. Then no one's talking about the new throw mechanics, the counseling throw, or the new and enhanced combo system. No, nobody's talking about that. We just gonna bitch about the price. How long has Capcom ignored Nintendo's platform? What do y'all want? Street Fighter V? 
They can't put Street Fighter V on any other platform because Sony co-developed and owns it. God, why? For all the people, for all y'all motherfuckers out there that's bitching about the price, you say you won't buy for 40, but if it's 20 or 25, you'll buy it, which means y'all broke asses ain't got the money to buy it. That's what y'all saying? Y'all still want it, but you can't afford it. Or you don't want to pay that. Stop bitching about it. It's optional content. You don't want it. Don't get it. Don't keep incessantly filling up every forum and Twitter and Facebook page bitching about this price. You don't like it. You don't like something. Don't fuck with it. It's that simple. Man, y'all got me feeling some kind of way with this shit. Like, I'm I'm so utterly disgusted. I'm I'm just disgusted. This everything it seems in this generation of people with this society is just you complain about everything. You can't there's no sense of gratitude that we're getting new games. We got a new console, that this is the best year in gaming we've had in years. Nobody's, but we can bitch and complain about everything. I'm so fucking sick of whiners and complainers. I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. Find something. Find something to be grateful for. Not just in gaming, but in life. Stop bitching about everything. Y'all got me on one right now, man. It's your boy Mikhail Casanova, man. Deuces wild. I'm I'm the fuck up out of here.